Hello everyone, my name is Paul and uh, welcome to TraceKidsBasket.com tutorial. Today we are going to work with Blender and we are going to set up a basic scene with Easter eggs, like this one. I will show you how to model, how to unwrap a sphere properly, how to apply the texture. We will uh, edit in uh, Photoshop and how to set up a basic uh, scene with clay material to render something like this. First of all, we are going to work with the newest uh, edition of Blender you can download from blender.org. And first thing before we forget this, we are going to work with Cyclist Renderer because it's better. Simple as that. And first thing, we are going to delete Q because we won't use it for our egg. We will use UV Sphere. You can add it from the menu on the, the top. Add Mesh. This view. And now, pretty important thing is, or maybe not important but handy, is a memory keyboard. When you hit one, you are going to change the front perspectives and for three and seven. So it's uh, really cool when you are modeling, and you can change that pretty fast. Now we are in object mode which is more of a composition state so we are going to change our object to edit mode you can do it from this panel on that by hitting that button now first of all i want to scale our sphere so it will be more like an egg so you hit s and now you will scale it in all directions which is wrong because we don't want it bigger. So I click S and Z to scale along the Z axis. Now it's small, already looks more like an egg. But I would like to make it more flat at the bottom, as you can see there. So what we are going to do is mark the bottom of the egg but now we mark vertices only visible to us so the one behind aren't marked what you have to do is click this little icon here to turn it off now when I click B and select it selects everything all bottom of our egg now I will simply move the vertices up a bit until you have shape you are satisfied with. It's totally up to you how your egg will look. I can already tell my isn't too good. That that's not the point. Okay. Maybe I will scale it again with command Z. Okay, something like this. Okay, that looks like an egg. So we are done with modeling. That was pretty easy. Now, what we have to do to make it look more cool, like this, I and mean, it's green, it has some uh, random shapes over it. We need to unwrap it. What we need to do is change the scene to UV editing to make it easier for us. And now we change to edit mode with tab, mark every vertices, we click A to do that. And normally you would do something like this, which is wrong because as you can see our sphere or egg in this case 
we will now wrap up very well. So we are going to undo it. And what you need with Sphere to make Blender um, make it Blender easier to unwrap it is mark a seam line. Okay. So I will choose a random line. It can be this one or this one. Doesn't matter if it's the vertical or horizontal. And mark the line of vertices like this. That would be a very, a very time consuming. So, what we are going to do, we are going to hit Alt and right click. This way, you mark the line of vertices under a certain level. Doesn't matter if you are going to do this horizontally or vertically, you just choose whatever you want. Now, go to Mesh, Edges, and Mark Scene. Mark everything again, mesh, unwrap, and here we go. Here is our UV map, UV map for the egg we just created. We are going to use it to make a texture. What we're going to do is UVs, export UV layout. And I will use egg tutorial, I will call it egg UV2. Export UV layout, and that's pretty much it for Blender. Now we are going to move to Photoshop. You can use GIMP for that, but just use whatever makes you happy. So, egg tutorial and egg UV mark 2. We have our UV map, and we want to make it like more um, happy and colorful, so I will just um, add a new layer and make something funny. I won't cover texture in this tutorial, so I won't explain to you what I'm doing right now. Oops. Maybe next time in different tutorial we will cover this. Okay. Like that. Okay. Okay. Now I will save it. So. Tutorial like. Texture save. Okay. Now we are going back to Blender. We can go away from UV editing, back to default mode, change to object mode. Uh, importance being cycles render because now we are going to apply a texture and it's totally different for other engines. So now we are going to material. Add new and instead of color, we go to image texture. Open, go to our texture, and that would be it, I think. No editor, mm, yes. Now you can switch back to UV editing and it will show up here, right there. Everything is still visible. So, if we edit it now, if we hit render, it shows the basic name for our work. That's cool. I, I didn't keep it transparent, so I have the edges you can see there, because normally I would make something like this. Um, and also uh, 
something like this so you won't have the lines visible in here but for now it's okay okay back to so to sum up our egg is small it's unwrapped it's uh, textured so only thing that left is setting up basic render scene let's move our egg a bit up and start adding planes add mesh plane like this this will be our floor uh, actually we can duplicate this one so go to front perspective uh, click shift D for duplicate and R90 to rotate and we have our first wall we scale it even more Top perspective again, shift the rotate, enter, shift the, and here is our basic scene. Now let's put this light a bit up. If you don't have the light, you could uh, delete it or something. You can add it right here. Um, some these different settings. Actually, let's. Let's delete this one. Delete. Okay. And let's add our lamp sum. I will put it right there. You can. Now there are two approaches. You could uh, rotate the lamp by clicking error and using different axes, but I like using this one. Rotate manipulator. Because it doesn't matter what your perspective you are uh, rotating along and choosing an axis. That's pretty much or really easy. So that's our sum. And let's move it more. I want it. I don't want it to be like directly over the egg so I put the point of the line here a bit behind and when we render we can see first light now we see if you don't want to have this like the line when two walls are connecting you can move move the wall behind like this but I will leave it it shows great perspectives and now what we are going to do we are going to apply the clay material to our walls it's really easy because you just go to material that's new and leave as it is that's all you have to do and when you go to other walls you don't have to create anything you just choose from the previous material That's it. Now, when you render, it should be brighter, and the shadow is very, very heavy. So, to reduce that a bit, we are going to add extra lamp. I will use Hemi. Just move it away and rotate to point at our egg and hit render again it's much lighter there are two shadows because we have two light sources you should play with that like reduce the strength of the light you just select the lamp or the light source like the sun you can see there and there is the strength, you can reduce it to like let's say half maybe. and to reduce the shadow strength we are going to set it really low like 0 0.1 to change the color of the light mm, you can use this one and I'll change this a bit 
to add it more yellow and when we render now oh, it's really really dark so that's how it works you should play with it my previous scene looks like this uh, it will be uh, attached to the video so you can download it from the description also it will be available on our website mm, be creative do whatever you want if you did the scene don't hesitate to put it in comments on YouTube or our website. So that's it. Thanks.